Hi guys, this is Kelly Kirchberg of Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. In today's video, we're talking about how can you truly change up your office style, or what office hacks or tricks can you make to really elevate your look and stand out from the crowds. We get asked this question all the time from our clients, for those who are starting new types of jobs, or maybe you're transitioning from one industry to a new career. Or maybe you've graduated college and you're looking, how can you elevate? What should you be doing to stand out from the crowd? Whatever your reason may be, we always share the same tips with our clients. The first being accessorizing your look. And this really gives you head to toe style. The key to this is that you can wear the same pieces or same outfits over and over again, simply by changing your accessories. So that can be that you're changing out your jewelry, you can change out your scarves, your bags, your belts, all these different pieces to recreate outfits all around the same basics that you're wearing. Really separates your look and differentiates you. So slouchy or crossbody bags really look too casual for the workplace. Instead, we recommend carrying a bold tote bag or bolder work bag portfolio. So you wanna steer, steer away from solid colors that really don't do much for your outfit. The expected is that you'll wear or carry a basic navy bag or a basic neutral or black. But instead, choosing bold colors really differentiates and stands out. You can choose print bags, which really makes a statement. Animal skin bags, which really adds that differentiated appeal and is a little bit more eye-capturing. Or you can choose textured pieces in textures such as suede, velvet, or fur. Graphic design bags are also very big and make a statement so that can be something that has sort of that avant-garde art prints that you see. There's lots of black and white bags that are out there now. Or many designers are also choosing or creating bags that have either their brand names on them. But what we recommend is choosing bags that really make a statement for you at the office. So it might be that they have interesting phrases all over the bags, or they might have embellishment or pieces on them that really stand out and differentiate it. What makes your bag look unique to you that separates you from everybody else in the office? Modernizing your workwear really is key to standing out from the crowd. So the expected is that you'll wear the coordinating pieces sold in a store, or that you have the matching suit pieces or suit separates on. But that doesn't really modernize or look current with what's happening in the workplace. So instead, what we recommend is changing up the pieces that you wear to look modern yet professionally polished. So you can do this, for example, by pairing blazers with dresses. So, for example, that changes up the expected would be to pair blazers with blouses and trousers or skirts. Instead, pairing a blazer over a dress that might have a different style silhouette on the body. So maybe it's something that has some movement in the dress. Or maybe it's a mini dress or a high-low hem and it's got some movement in the different layers of the dress. Something that makes it a little bit more eye-capturing when you pair a blazer over top of it. The other thing that you can do is to choose um, pairing a sweater with a pencil skirt. So choosing a chunkier or thicker knit sweater is a great piece that you can add with a pencil skirt and high heels versus the expected, which would be a blouse and a pencil skirt or even a blazer blouse and pencil skirt. Kind of looks a little blasé and what everybody else will be wearing.
changing up to the unexpected or coordinating two pieces together that really makes it more eye-capturing. So you can also switch from solid colors to bolder prints, which really stands out and make a difference. The easiest way to do this is by incorporating print pieces that are in neutral colors, so black and white prints, or gray and cream colored prints, or um, you can choose navy um, with different skin tone hues or camel hues. Those neutrals really look fabulous when they're paired with other solid colors, but they're not as over the top bold or too eye catching for the office place. Next, we're gonna talk about how can you intermix prints? because this really modernizes ways you can wear things. The easiest trick when you're intermixing prints is to know that a smaller print always pairs well with a larger print. That's step one. The second thing is keeping in that same color family for the print pieces makes them coordinate and go better together. So for example, let's say that you have a floral, large floral skirt, for example, and that might be in a navy, green, and burgundy color tones. Then you could pair that with a smaller plaid blouse that is in that same navy, green, and burgundy tones. Or you can stick with neutrals that are all in black and white or in navy and white, navy and cream, and you can pair those and balance those prints together in an easy way. The other key thing to know about intermixing and wearing prints is to know what size print to wear on your different body parts. For example, wherever your largest body part might be, so if you're very chesty, or if you're very curvy on the bottom, or you want to de-emphasize your hips, those areas, then you want to put a smaller print piece on there and pair that in contrast on the other portion with a larger print. So for example, if you're really busty up top, then you want to put a smaller print on the top of your frame and a larger print on your bottom. That will emphasize and draw your eye downward away from your larger body portions. So next, we're talking about how to change up your textured pieces to truly make a statement. So adding suede or um, tweed pieces, which you can do in jackets or in skirts and blazers. You can add in leather in, which always is more eye-capturing than just a regular textured fabric. Or knits all look great in the winter time. You can also add lace year-round, which looks fantastic because it's got that rich texture to it. So some people think, oh, lace can't be appropriate for the office. The easy thing to do is get a lined lace blouse or lace top, or you can always layer a camisole or thin knit t-shirt underneath of a lace blouse, lace top, or lace sweater. Makes it very easy to wear and appropriate, but Having those textured pieces really adds more dimension to your look. The next thing you're gonna do is to be changing up your blazer style. So trying to wear different blazers than what everybody else has on. Different than the pieces that you might see as come as a part of a woman's suit or the typical, typical one button blazer that the sleeves end at your wrists. Kind of tends to end around your hips. But that's sort of the expected style. Instead, choosing a cropped blazer, which really looks fabulous for any body type, no matter how busty you might be up top. That really looks modern when you pair that with a high-waisted pant and blouse or a wide leg trouser. The reason why that works well is because a cropped blazer, which is shorter dimensions here, is a more fitted piece and then you can balance that well for your body with a looser or more exaggerated piece on the bottom. Works really well to balance your pieces together in terms of the fit. Next, you can choose a boyfriend blazer. So these have been popular for a little while. You might already have some in your closet, but a boyfriend blazer is a perfect piece to wear to the office as well.
because of that looser, unstructured design of a boyfriend blazer, and because it typically is unbuttoned, it just hangs open, it's a great layering piece over a fitted dress, or you can pair that with a pencil skirt and blouse or camisole to really modernize what you're wearing. Also, always looks great if you tie it all together and cinch that at your waist with the belt. Next, we wanna talk about point and toe high heels and why you wear that instead of round heels. So the round toe tends to shorten your leg line and it doesn't draw your eye downward. So a pointed toe high heel really gives you elongated legs. It draws your eye down because your eyes head down to the point or of your toe of your high heel and then it draws your eye back upwards. Versus a rounded toe shoe or round toe loafer or square toe loafer tend to be a chunkier piece and chunkier shoes tend to draw your eye downward and stay down there. Your eyes instinctively will go down to your shoes if they're too heavy of a piece. But you can modernize what you're wearing by wearing a pointed toe high heel. Kind of gives you that elegant, pulled together stylish look that also looks a little bit more powerful in the office place. Next, you wanna simplify your jewelry, leaving behind your large statement pieces, which are perfect for the evenings or weekends, or you can put those in your office drawer and change them out when you head out for the night on the town. But you wanna simplify the pieces that you're wearing in the office to give you a polished, modern, simplistic style. So that can be instead of wearing, like I have on, really bold statement earrings. Instead, what I would choose if I'm heading into the office is to choose a more delicate drop earring. You can do that in metallic tones, um, or you can choose a stone earring, which really can look beautiful and pulled together, but not something over the top. Hoop earrings also work well and are, again, very popular. You can find lots of different styles from designers that you love. But really simplifying those jewelry pieces keeps it polished and pulled together, but without drawing the eye overly where it shouldn't be. So, next you wanna choose a bold lipstick color. And the reason why we do this is that a neutral, more of a nude lipstick color really doesn't draw the eye towards your face. You wanna be capturing people's um, attention when you're in the office, whether it's clients you're speaking to, or if you're doing presentations, or you're talking to your boss in the office place, you really want to draw that eye. And having a bolder lip color, we're not talking Barbie pink or light pastels or other things that you can wear for fun on the weekends, but draw, going for something that's a little bit more of dramatic, so a deep red color or a deep burgundy color really can look professional and polished, especially if you pull your hair back into a bun, you can pull it into a low ponytail, which looks great for work, but it draws your eyes in towards your face. And that lipstick, that bolder deep hue, really captures your eye and keeps people's attention on you at the office. The last tip that I give to all of my clients who work in an office environment or who handle and work with clients is to always keep a small handbag with you. Whether you travel about during the day for work or if you're at your desk or office place, keeping a small handbag with you allows you to transition from the office and to easily transition or take it to a night on the town. You can head up for drinks or dinner, head to an event, straight from work without having to have that pressure to go home and change again, which you might not have time for. Simply keeping a small bag with you in your office. So for example, you can keep just a small little piece. Easily changes up instead of carrying a big, large work tote bag that might have your laptop, your iPad, or your files. Simply having a small clutch or a small purse with you allows you to throw in your phone, throw in your lipstick, whatever essentials that you need, but really lets you go and transition from that office place ready to have cocktails or dinner. 
So we hope these eight different tips will help you change up your office style and elevate your look. Share with us in the comments below what are key pieces or things that you do to differentiate yourself at work. You can also ask us your office questions or workwear questions to let us know what you would like us to answer or to showcase in upcoming video segments. Don't forget to download in the box below our workwear to evening style so you can transition simply from the office without having to go home with these easy style tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.